Hi guys, welcome to the ELF channel for another workout. My name is Fabian and today we're going to do a 7 minutes interval training. We're going to use 7 exercises only to do this workout. All you need to have is a yoga mat and possibly a chair depending on which variations you're going to do. Before we start, we're going to do a 3 minutes warm up and at the very end of the workout, we're going to do a 3 minutes cool down. Okay, let's get on to it and let's start our workout with a warm up. All right, let's start with some good mornings with this warm up. Simply lean forward to 90 degree bend and come back up. You want to breathe in with your nose as you go down and exhale out with your mouth as you come back up. Let's continue with some ankle taps. Once again, you want to maintain a very good breathing. And we're nearly done with it. Just a few more seconds. Let's go back up with some heel taps now. On the spot, you can choose to do the variation on the top left corner. Keep a nice pace. And we're going to transition with some cross trainer. Let's go. We're doing our cross trainer. Once again, we, you can choose an easier variation on the top left corner. Keep breathing deeply, in with the nose, out with the mouth. We're going to start what we can call our sumo squat. So you can open your toes a little bit on the side on this one. And you lift one leg up. One more time, you breathe in with the nose as you go down, out with the mouth as you go back up. Really try to maintain your chest up as you flex your knee down. And we start with our side monkey walk. You can use the variation one more time. Just want to go from one side to the other. Just making sure we're warming up our wrist properly here. And let's finish our warm up with some latissimus dorsi dynamic stretch. So you want to go on the side, but do not go too low. Breathe in with the nose as you go down, out with the mouth as you transit back up to the other side. And that's the end of our warm up. Okay, we are now about to start our workout. We're going to do seven exercises which of them we're going to repeat twice with a 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off pattern. First exercise will be the walking press-ups. Starting in three, two, one, and let's start with our walking press-ups. So here you just want to walk your hands out towards two press-ups and then come back up again with a little jump. You have a variation on the top left corner. I would suggest to use this variation if you do not know how to do a press-up yet. We're nearly done with this set in three, two, one, and 10 seconds rest. Really try to recover as much as you can. Keep maintaining a good breathing during these 10 seconds. We're going to repeat the same exercise again in three, two, one, and let's go. Try your best to maintain your legs straight if you're using the variation I'm demonstrating now. Really try to keep your chest right above your hands when you do the press-ups. Just under five seconds before we finish this set. Two, one, and that's it. 10 seconds rest. Mountain climbers next. Grab a chair if you want to do the beginner variation, otherwise stay on the floor. Let's start. So here you just want to drive your knees towards your chest. You really want to maintain your shoulders above your hands. Once again, really, really try to keep a nice breathing in with the nose, out with the mouth. Very good. Three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. We're going to do these mountain climbers one more time. Get ready in three, two, one, and let's go. So you can see that my forward leg does not touch the floor. So the forward foot does not touch the floor when you flex your knee. Keep breathing deeply. 
this is nearly the end of the set in three two one and you can relax and time for a nap nap now <laughs> now we're just simply going on the floor to do our back raises let's start them now so here no variation really i didn't put a, a, an additional window for it you can simply leave your feet on the floor to make it a little bit easier if you want to you breathe out with the mouth as you go up in with the nose as you go back down that's the end of the set 10 seconds of rest you can stay on the floor on your yoga mat or on your rug and we start again let's go 20 seconds of work so you really want to raise your upper body making sure that you're activating your lower back once again you can maintain your feet on the floor if you prefer this is absolutely fine three two one and you relax we're going to go back up make sure to breathe deeply we're going to start with our burpees. You can grab a chair again for the variation. Let's go. So you really want to chase your feet with your hands and your hands with your feet. Do not shy away from the variation. Really use the variation if you are not used to do this move. And we can stop for 10 seconds again. We're going to do it again. We're going to do these burpees again. Once again, I encourage you to use the variation. And let's go. Make sure to completely master the move before you move towards regular burpees like I'm demonstrating now. We keep a nice pace. We're nearly there. Three two one no more burpees for today guys well done 10 seconds rest i'm getting a good sweat as well as you can see <laughs> we're about to start our half jumping lunges keep breathing and let's start very good so here what we want to do is to have our feet together to a split feet together split make sure to keep your back straight and to keep your knees behind your toes with the front leg just like for a squat we're nearly done in three two one and you relax so you can do the variation so I've, sh I've showed you a first variation during that first set my legs are burning here <laughs> let's go back to it you can also choose to do the second variation that i'm showing on the top left corner so here just simply going a little bit deeper into the lunge very good Keep maintaining a good pace, guys. Make sure that your form is very well executed. One more time. Three, two, one, and you relax. Very good. 10 seconds rest. We're going to transition to the floor. We're going to do some lateral side crunches. And let's start. Very good. So we simply cross our legs and we want our elbow to meet our opposite knee. You do not want your shoulder blades, your scapula to touch the floor. You have your, uh, in that case, your right arm flat on the floor. Very good. We're nearly done. And that's it for the first set. We're going to now cross the legs on the other side. So if you use the right leg first, you're going to cross your left leg now, as I demonstrate now. And let's start. Very good. So you keep breathing. Maintain a good pace and you have now your right elbow meeting your left knee with your left arm flat on the floor. Just five more seconds. Three, two, one, and you can relax. We are nearly reaching the end of this workout. We're staying on the floor for the last exercise. We're simply going to do some leg raises in three, two, one, and let's go. Legs nice and straight up, going down, breathing in with the nose and going back up, breathing out with the mouth. Once again, you can use the beginner variation in the window. Three, two, one, and you relax. So if you choose to do the variation 
if you have a hard time um, having your legs straight it is completely fine to keep your legs a little bit bent and let's go again for our last set very last set of this workout once again if you do the variation it is completely fine to have your hands on the floor your arms flat on the floor and your legs slightly bent last effort guys keep going till the very end just three two one and that's it for today guys very well done we're going to transition to our cool down now let's start our cool down with some body extension just simply we try to stretch your body all the way up with your arms together hands together feet together we're going to slowly 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 try to reach our feet try to keep your legs as straight as you can we are walking forward to a negative eccentric press up for a cobra position so here try to keep to have at least your thighs on the floor when you do this we transition to a child's pose very good deep breaths as you do it and now downward dog with feet flat and hands flat on the floor it is fine if you cannot maintain your feet flat on the floor it's okay to have the heels off the ground a little bit quadriceps stretch now if you're not comfortable staying on the floor to do this stretch you can also standing up and do it really try to grab that back leg that back foot and feel the stretch on your quadriceps on the front of your thighs maintaining deep breathing we've done both legs now we're going to stay on the floor and we're going to stretch our adductors it also targets the hamstrings a little bit this one you're not forced to go all the way um, to your foot you can also grab the back of your leg if you can grab your foot just simply gradually go as low as you can and breathe deeply we're going to do the same thing on the other leg so once again you can grab the back of your knee depending on your flexibility if you can grab your foot go for it relax into the stretch Here's also a very good example of a daily walk with my neighbor walking at the back. <laughs> Do not forget to walk every day, guys. Very, very important during this lockdown period. Okay, we're going back up and we're going to now stretch our shoulders. We start with the right arm. Very good. Maintain a very good posture maintain your head up your back straight we're now doing the other arm also maintain a good breathing while stretching in with the nose out with the mouth we're going to stretch our triceps simply pull our elbows at the back and once again you want to maintain a very good posture back straight face up second arm Keep breathing deeply. Really want to feel it at the back of the arm on your triceps. I'm going to stretch the neck. Arms on the side, alongside your thighs. And incline your head very, very gently. We do it on the other side. We're tilting the head on the side with our ears towards our shoulders. Really try to maintain a good inhalation with your nose and exhalation with your mouth. And let's go back down on the ground to finish this workout. We're simply going to do a final breathing exercise. You really want to have the back, the, your lower back, firmly on the ground. Very good. So you do not want to arch your back when doing this. We're now breathing in with the nose and out with the mouth. So deep inhalation with the nose and then exhalation with the mouth. As you exhale out with your mouth, I want you to tuck your belly in very, very progressively. And repeat. Relax yourself as much as you can until the very end. 
three, two, one. And that's it for today, guys. Well done. Hey, guys. Thank you very much for doing this workout with us today. Well done, you. Well done for doing this workout. I hope that you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it as well. I'm all sweaty to do this outro. <laughs> so yeah, let's, um, you know, let's meet again next week. We're going to upload one video per week every Wednesday. We really, really want to upload these videos to encourage uh, the staff of Elft uh, as well as the, the, the users of the services to stay active, to stay physically active during this uh, COVID-19 period. Try to balance your physical activity. You do not want to do too much. You do not want to, uh, to be too sedentary during this period. So I would encourage you to do a routine like this one, maybe two, twice a week. That would be very good. If you, you know, if you, if you walk daily, for example, as well, that's going to help. So a daily walk plus two routines like this per week, um, that can be very, very good for you to do. All right, hope you enjoyed it, guys. I will see you next week in another video. Take good care of yourself, take good care of your family one more time, and much love. Take care, bye 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 bye. Perfect, 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 perfect.